What's crackling codelets? All right, in this video, it's just gonna be a quick, casual, laid back, little nightly video where we're going to, <laughs> that's my daughter. Um, we are going to transfer all of our folders that we've been working on in Colt's Web Developer Bootcamp or any other course where you're using C9. All the stuff from C9, we're gonna transfer it over to Gorm IDE. And we're gonna use GitHub. So hopefully you've taken my Git course at this point and you already know all the syntax. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out. Uh, anyway, really simple to follow along. So Git's already pre-installed with both C9 and Gorm. So it's gonna be really easy. Go to GitHub. If you do not have a GitHub account, please sign up. Uh, definitely need to be doing that ASAP. All right, so sign up for GitHub. A little plus sign, new repository, repository name, just call it C9 Backup. Make it private, you never know what's in there. Could be some keys or something exposed, passwords, I don't know, emails, who knows. So make it private, create repository, leave everything else as default. Now, copy this line right here. Uh, you don't even need the first part with the echo readme, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So just copy uh, this first area where it says create new repository in the command line. Copy that, head over to C9, make sure that you're inside of tilde forward slash workspace. So if you're not, then you can CD into it. All right, so once you're here, go ahead and plug that in, hit enter. It's gonna ask for your GitHub username and your secret password. Once you enter it, it's gonna automatically push everything over to C9. So you can refresh and I thought it would. Let's see what's going on. Check your git status. And it did not add any of this stuff. So let's see here. Git add dot, we'll add all of it. Git status, okay. So looking back, I think that command just created a readme file, which is fine. All right, so now that we've added everything with the git add dot command, do git commit dash m, and then inside of here just say init. Now if you do a git status, nothing to show here, working tree is clean. You can do a git log, it'll show you your little init thing right here. And at this point, just do a git push origin master and hit enter. It's gonna ask you to sign in again. And now, when you go to GitHub and you refresh, voila, there's all your stuff. All your folders, all your work. Click the green cloner download should be set to HTTPS. So go ahead and just copy this HTTPS link here. Go over to Gorm, navigate to your main directory. For me, it's workspace forward slash Gorm IDE test. For you, it may be something else. And type in git clone, and then paste in that URL that you just copied. And it's gonna ask you for your username for GitHub and your password. And now if you CD into C9 backup and LS, there's all your folders, you can open it up here too. Voila, there's everything. So yeah, that's it, simple as that. And um, one thing I did notice though, is that the node modules directories inside of all these different node projects take up a ton of space. So open each one up, find that node modules directory, right click it and delete it. Delete all the node modules directories before you create this Git repository and send it over to GitHub. So before you do anything, go through and clean out all those Git, uh, all those node modules folders. Also, if you have any Git repositories in there, you might have some trouble with some nested Git repositories. Um, for me personally, I don't care about that stuff. I just deleted them. But if that's a problem for you, then uh, you may have to do a little more digging to make sure that you get that working. If you have any questions, of course, just ask in the comments. But for simplicity's sake, delete the node modules directories inside of any of your node projects. Go back into the workspace directory, initialize git, add that remote repository, push to it, go to it, refresh, clone, go over here, git clone, voila, there's everything. Now you're still probably gonna want your database data. I want it, it's all just test data, but if you do, no worries, I'm gonna make a video for that too. And if you're coming from the MySQL course and you're looking for your MySQL data, I'll also be making a video for that uh, over the next couple days. So hopefully this helped you get transferred most of your stuff over into Gourmet. Thanks a lot. Catch you in the next video.